Hey guys, I hope you're keeping well. In this video, I will teach you how to create an MS Access table. We will first look at what is MS Access. We will talk about how to create an Access database. I will also demonstrate that to you. I will demonstrate how to create a table in MS Access, how to go about defining the fields in the table. And finally, we'll look at how to go about populating the table with some data. So the first question is, what is MS Access? This is part of your Microsoft suite. Uh, MS Access deals with databases, the way Microsoft Word deals with word processing. So here we're working with databases. It's used to access, uh, it basically Microsoft Access is an information management tool. It assists us when we are storing large amounts of information, uh, in particular, when we're needing to analyze the data and we need to report on that data. And we can create tables, queries, forms, and reports. So these are all the different things we can do making use of Microsoft Access. The first step when we go into Microsoft Access is to create a database. So here I'm going to demonstrate how to create a database. We'll call it DB Clients. You could create a database for pupils. Um, you could create a database uh, for customers, uh, which are similar to clients, anything you want to, uh, you could create a database as long as it is used to store information. Related to my clients, I now can create a table which will be within my database. The table I'm going to create is called TBL clients. And this table is going to have a number of fields inside of the table. The first field will be called client ID, and that's going to be an auto number. So Microsoft Access will control that particular field and automatically generate a number every time I enter a new record. The client name, that will be our second field, and that's going to be text. Client surname is also text. The client age will be a number. I want to create the client to determine if the client's a VIP or not. So that field will be yes, no. If they are VIP client, they will, be, they will have a value of yes. Otherwise, they will have a value of no. And finally, I want to have a field called client earnings. And this is where I will store how much income that they earn. And that will be of type currency. So this is the one table that I'm going to create in this database. You could create multiple tables uh, within a database that can be done. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I will be just working with one particular table. So let's go into Microsoft Access and see how this is done. Once you start up Microsoft Access, you will come to this particular uh, window that requires you to make a few selections. So I'm making use of Microsoft Office 365. If you have a different version, it could possibly give you a slightly different, uh, slightly different screen. So in my case, I want to create a blank database. So I will click on this particular selection blank database. And once I've made that selection, it comes up with this window. I firstly have to give my database a name. So here I'm going to type DB clients. That's the name of my database. And I also want to, I can also choose the location where I want to store this database. So in order to change the location, I'll click on this browse folder that brings up my, uh, this is where I can choose the particular folder I want to, uh, the file to be stored in. 
So I'm in my documents. I already have a folder called database. I'm going to go into that folder. And this is where I'm going to store my database called DB clients. Then it says save as type. If I click on this drop down box, it gives me different formats that you can choose to save the database as. I would suggest that you keep it as the default, uh, which is Microsoft Access uh, 2007, 2016. That creates a file extension, uh, ACCDB. But for my purposes, I'm going to change this to Microsoft Access Database 2000 format. The reason I'm changing it, I'm going to be using the same database in my Delphi program in subsequent videos. So in order to use the database, I require a different file extension. I need the extension .mdb. So to get that particular file extension, I need the file to be in the 2000 format, which is an older format. Um, so I'm going to leave it to this, and I'm going to create my database by clicking on OK. At this stage, it brings me back to this window, and I can just click on Create, and my database is currently being created. There we are. This is now the interface. Here you will notice I have Table 1, and here is where I can define my fields. When I define my fields, I prefer to change my view. So I'm going to click on View, and I'm going to change to Design View. So when I click on Design View, I'm requested to give my table a name. I don't want it to be called Table Name. So I'm going to say TBL Clients. So I'm just prefixing it with TBL, and then I give it a name. It's just a convention that's used. So when you see the prefix TBL, you know these are all your tables. I will click on OK. And this then takes me to my design view. You will notice that the table has been renamed to TBL clients. And this is the interface that I am now going to use where I am going to define my fields. So the first field that I want was client ID. So I'm going to change ID to client ID, and that is an auto number. So I'm going to leave that as auto number. Uh, you will also notice that there's a little key here. Uh, this denotes a primary key, and a primary key ensures that you don't have any duplicate entries. So because this is an auto number that's generated by access, we will ensure that there are no duplicate records that are entered into our database. The second field was client name. I prefer not to leave any spaces when I'm naming my fields. It just helps me later on when I'm in the programming environment and when I need to access these particular fields. When I click on the data type, you will see that it already has short text. There are many other data types. I'm going to leave it on short text. Uh, by default, the field size is set to 255 on short text. I'm certainly not going to be typing that many characters. I'm happy to have my client's name to have a maximum of 20 characters. So we set that to 20. Similarly, I'm going to say client surname that will also be short text uh, 20 characters the next one was client age the client age i will select that to be a number and you will see that the field is going to be now it's an integer uh, then i'm going to go client vip and that particular data type we said will be yes, no. And finally, I'm going to have client earnings. And there, I'm going to make that currency because that's a money value. So having entered or created 
the table, the fields, these are now my fields that will be in this table called TBL clients. I will now click on save uh, to save this but to save this table structure that's now saved. And the second step after creating the table will be to populate information into this table. So to enter data into the table, I will double click on the table name here. If I double click this, it takes me to this particular view. And you will notice that the fields are already created for me. We had a field called client ID, name, surname, age, VIP, and earnings. And because earnings was a currency, you will notice it has a default value with the R sign in it. Client age was a number, it has a default value. Um, take note, client VIP was a yes, no. So this has a checkbox. So I either tick it, click on it, and it puts a tick in there to say yes, or I leave it blank, which will denote a no. Then take note of the auto number. Client ID was an auto number. Because this is automatically generated, we are not going to type any values. You will notice when I click on client name, and let me type a client name, and when I press enter, you will notice that the client ID has been generated for us. So each time I enter a new record, and as I enter information, uh, this is now the record that I am entering. Remember that these here were fields. Each one here was a field like client earnings, client VIP, these are all fields but the entire thing with data in it is now a record. So I'm gonna enter a particular client. Uh, let's enter age. This client is a VIP. And then the total earnings is, um, let's enter 30,000. Once I press enter, it takes me into the second record. Again, I'm not going to enter any values. Uh, I'll start with the client name, uh, surname, I'll enter age, VIP, no, we'll leave that blank, and then the earnings, 80,000. So in this way, I will continue uh, entering as many records as I need. And you can imagine if you were creating a banking application uh, of customers, a bank has millions of clients. So your tables will grow. And in some instances, it can grow very fast in storing information, in particular, large amounts of information. So just to recap, we, we, we first created our database. And within the database, we have one table called TBL clients. We defined the fields. And once we define the fields, we then populated the information in terms of our records into this table. I hope this uh, video helps you in better understanding how Microsoft Access, how databases in Microsoft Access works. Thank you till the next time, bye.